I've got a tube here made of paper, very rough, but that's all we need. A tube, and we have a red feather plume. I'm going to place the red feather plume inside the tube, just like this, and take something yellow. It could be a yellow handkerchief, could be a yellow piece of material, a yellow balloon, a yellow ribbon, even a banana, it doesn't really matter. Just touch the tube with the yellow object, pull on the stem, and now the plume is yellow, which nicely matches the object that you touch the tube with. We also have a little bouquet with different flowers on there. And I've got some labels that I've made, pink, red, orange, purple, and yellow. And they match the colours that are on the bush there, same as on the labels. Now we're going to choose one of those colours in a moment, but first of all, I'm going to fold them up. This is so that I can't see what's written on them. I'm going to choose one at random in a moment but we want to make sure that I can't see what's written on them because it has to be a random choice and I'm not to know which one it is I don't have an audience so this is what I have to do so we've got a bouquet there with five flowers and there's five labels there so I'll take one of the labels and see what colour that I've chosen here let's have a bit of a look red Okay, well let's do something with the colour red. I'll take that tube once again and this time we'll place the bouquet inside the tube. And take that red label and just swipe it right up the side of the tube. And then when you bring it out, it is in fact red. All those other colours have simply disappeared and that can be examined.